Good morning, everyone. This is your favorite MS4 coordinator, Rick Brown. And remember, only you can help us keep our stormwater clean. Today, we're going to be uh, discussing groundwater. And we're going to be discussing the, the pros, and cons, etc. Just to give you some education as far as what groundwater is, what it does, and why we need to keep it clean. And what we do, what we do to keep it clean. Groundwater is a, a very critical water resource because you and I and many residents depend on our groundwater. We uh, rely on it for drinking water and the aquatic health of various systems. For example, uh, during periods of dry weather, groundwater sustains flows and streams and helps maintain the hydrology or water of our wetlands. Uh, because our development at MS4, like I talk about, creates uh, impervious surfaces, that prevents natural recharge, the hard surfaces. It can't get through a net decrease in groundwater. Recharge rates can be expected in urban um, areas. Communities that rely on groundwater have protected groundwater supplies and headwater streams by developing special criteria to require the infiltration of a certain water, a certain quantity, I should say, of stormwater runoff and requires the use of pretreatment, keep it clean for all the entities. They could also require low impact development uh, you know, certain rules and things that we got to go by so we don't overload the area. Impervious disconnections is one of the things that we can do. Soil amendments, keep our soil good, and open space protections and or the maintenance. Restoration of a certain amount of land cover, especially forest. And we do have a couple areas in Laporte here that uh, we can't develop around. We can only, we have to be a certain distance from it because it is groundwater wells that are protected. And the, and the way that you measure that and stay from it is how far can the water go or a drop of water in a certain distance of time. So we have, and then you convert that and that's how far away you have to be from a critical well water source. Communities should take care and ensure that, that our groundwater supplies are maintained and protected from contamination, exactly what I was just talking about. Um, and, and we have a very, very critical area on the east side of town. When you go out Highway 2, like you're going to go all the way out the toll road or something, you get out by the, the Ford dealer, the Burger King, and all that stuff out there. You cannot develop down that road any farther because we have a very, very critical well out there that we use for our... We just can't develop that area. We have to stay away from it, and that's a law. The list below um, contains groundwater hotspots, vehicle uh, recycling yards or junkyards, outdoor vehicle service facilities, equipment cleaning facilities, industrial sites, marinas, public works and storage areas, commercial, certain commercial industries, uh, managed, chemical managed turf areas. That's why when you look at the maps of where these critical areas are, you will see the point where the well is, as an example, and then you'll see a great big circle around it. You are not allowed to develop within that certain circle because of the distance of time it will take water to get to that area. It's against the law. You can't do it. We do have them here in Laporte to protect our groundwater. Basically, if you want to put all that in one little tiny box, we have to go by the law also. And we develop our cities. We develop around Laporte, but we also cannot and will not incorporate developing inside of an area that could possibly decrease um, the travel time of water getting to that very very critical area the city engineer is very on top of it the wastewater folks are on top of it MS4 is involved and we have site reviews for development when people want to come in and build buildings here in Laporte and when they build buildings when they're out near those areas it always comes up we will not let development happen within that certain circumference of how water could travel over a certain period of time to get into that area, to get into that well. No, we don't do it. We're not going to allow people to do it. So uh, I'm very proud of what we do to keep our water clean here in Laporte. Remember that uh, if you want to become a subscriber and you watch our uh, videos and that kind of stuff, just hit that little red button and you'll become a subscriber. So everybody have a great day and remember only you can help us keep our stormwater clean. Thank you.